from Huntsville, Alabama. This comes to us from yes, Bill, Bill, Bur Bill Burlingame. Burlingame from Huntsville, Alabama. I recently did a new build. It includes a Ryzen 7 2700X CPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a Samsung 960 nice. EVO series, 500 gigabyte NVMe drive, and Windows 10. This is a fast system. Yeah. Yeah, we, we were talking about this yesterday, and we're like, I wonder what he's got. There you go. It's fast. Yeah. Uh, as a retiree, I'm not a heavy Office user. I tried to install my old copy of MF Office, and it said I had exceeded the number of installs allowed. Mm. Since it was EOL product, I couldn't delete old installs from the MS database. I decided to install LibreOffice version 6.1.2.1 x64. The problem I have is that it takes nearly 20 seconds to load. I've looked at the forums and haven't found a way to speed up the time it takes to load. I see others also have the problem. Is this something you could address on your is podcast? That ever weird? On a system with 32 gigs of RAM and right. NVMe to boot. Exactly. Wow. Because I have it on my I have it on my Debian laptop right here. Yep. Uh, I have eight gigs of RAM. It does have an SSD. It has a Kingston SSD. Mm -hmm. And uh, it boots up in about two and a half seconds. It mm. loads, loads LibreOffice in you're two and a half seconds. And you're running a flavor of Linux. I'm running Debian Stretch. Now, we're going to make the assumption that uh, Bill, our viewer, Berlin game, yes. yeah, <laughs> is, is probably using Microsoft Windows right. yeah. because we're trying MS Office first. Right. Right. So I'm going to make that assumption. And my laptop, in fact, has Windows 10 on it. So... Any ideas, Bill? Um, okay, so let's, let's see if I can switch over to my laptop here so that you guys can see it. Any thoughts on this one, Bill? Now, I've got 6.1 installed, so LibreOffice. So again, somebody who's trying the free alternative to Microsoft Office because of a bad situation where it's EOL or end of life. Right. So you can't call Microsoft and activate it. You can't have them. Right, right. Yeah, I, I mean, this is where, you know, key gens, which are technically you know shady yeah um <laughs> that's where it's it's like oh man i paid for this product maybe that's an option but why is it not running fast on on your system let's try it on so i'm on windows 10 on my little laptop which we know is not very great and it loads practically instantly um the one thing that i would check is whether or not i have LibreOffice quick start running and I don't. I don't see a LibreOffice Quick Start icon there, so I can bring up I can bring up any uh, LibreOffice program mm -hmm. and hit Tools, Options, General, and it has load LibreOffice during system startup. If I hit OK on that, and just so you're aware what version I'm using here, uh, this is 6.1.2.1, so it's a match. Yep. So now if I close that. And we bring up our tray. Oh, I haven't rebooted, so I'm not going to see it. So I can force it to load right now by going into my C drive and into Program Files, LibreOffice, Program, and then just do a quick... I just typed QU, and uh, there it is, Quick Start. So I'm going to double-click on that, and it won't appear to have done anything, but down here you see that it has, in fact, started and that should make things a little faster. Now, if I right-click on that, you'll see that load LibreOffice during system startup is checked, and that's because I set that in the options under mm -hmm. general. Um, if you don't want to go that route, you can open it just like I did with um, Program Files, LibreOffice, and then right-click on it once you've opened it and choose Load uh, during system startup. Whether or not that'll make a difference, so let's try a text document. It's, that's even quicker. You could tell that that was quicker. That was instant. Yeah, and it's strange, because I, I did load it on my, my Windows 10 tablet yeah. last night. Mm -hmm. and a tablet. A tablet, mm -hmm. and it came right on. Yeah. Two, two, three seconds. So what could it be? Yeah. Because not only is Bill having the problem, but he says that others have had the problem as well. So you found other people of yeah. like issue yeah. in the forums. On my computer though, like now that the quick loader, uh, quick starter is open, if I click on text document, it, like do you guys get the sense of how instantaneous that is? I'm gonna count down from three. So three, two, one, click. 
So it's very, very quick now. Huh. No delay whatsoever. If I do it from I the wouldn't be fast enough to start the stopwatch. Yeah. So that's that does make a difference on mine, a, mm -hmm. a marked difference. Although mine didn't seem slow in the first place, but it is very much faster now. I'd suggest that you try that, Bill. Any other suggestions or mm. anything else that you can think of? I think Quick Start is the first place I would look. And absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, some of the forums and some of the, uh, if you did a Google search, they they give you advice on older versions of LibreOffice. Oh, and it yeah, it's it tells you to go to Tools, Options, Memory, which doesn't exist anymore. Oh, okay. Mm. It was deprecated in 5.4, I believe, or something like that. Right. Well, if, and, and so maybe they move things around. So maybe it's important just to make that mental note that you can go into right. C colon slash program files slash LibreOffice slash software slash <laughs> quick start and run that program. Yeah. It'll load it into the tray, right click on it and go load yeah. it, start up and then make that done. mental note. Yeah. <laughs> You got that? <laughs> Locked in. <laughs> I hope that helps. Bill, please let us know if that makes any difference. But your computer sounds amazing. Um, sounds like um, you should not be experiencing that issue. Not at all. Not at all. So let us know, all right?